Good morning. Half seven a.m. and I'm off to Dovedale for first time ever. Been meaning to do it for a while, but it's one of them places that's stupidly busy. But it's raining, so it'll keep most of the rabble away. I think it's about between 12 and 14 miles, so I'm going to be walking away from the touristy bit through valley just see what it's like so yeah about to set off hours drive should get there for yeah i don't know around nine o'clock hopefully look forward to it except for rain hope it keeps off a bit but here we go all right we're off on the dovedale walk I don't think my watch battery is going to last the whole walk, just realise it's a bit low. Hopefully I get a good track out of it, but don't think I will. Off to my right, Thorpe Cloud. This is a hill I've always wanted to walk up. I may do it one day. So far it's pretty nice. So here we go, 13 miles. Legs are aching from my run on Friday, but shows will loosen up. Top cloud. peak of Thorpe Cloud up there. Definitely going to make that one of my walks soon. Some of the cleanest water I've seen in Peak District. Coming up to the famous Dovedale stepping stones. Dovedale stepping stones. I can see why it's popular, it's like the water is ridiculously clean. It's not deep anyway, so you can go all the way in. Loads of places to sit. So yeah, I understand why it's popular now. But we've gone through the gate behind us and left everyone behind because not many do the distance we're doing, so it should be quite quiet for the rest of the walk, especially this time. So, 12 and a half miles left. Sleeping ducks. Some pretty cool formations surrounding Valley it's steeper than I thought. Never comes off right on film, it's never as impressive as it is in person. Almost in our first mile, 12 left.
gonna have a look up here. It's a bit off route, but looks interesting. Not much of a view, but just see top of Thorpe Cloud right there. We're gonna be heading up there. Let's go. Rock's a bit slippy. It's great, it's been raining, but it's proper warm. Stuffy as well. Just gone past 12 miles to go. So far not bad. It's just so warm. Can't believe how clean water is though. Rainforest stuffy, lots of trees and greenery, weird rock formations. Cool. Bridge there, might have a walk across, see what it's like, see what's maybe a cave or something. That's, in, that's mental, cut overhang on that. So this is Islam Rock, Islam Rock Bridge, and now it's just a little cave, we're not going to be going down here because uh, that goes somewhere else, so back across and we carry on. to turn the corner to dove holes which is quite impressive quite cool. I think one of my videos were corrupt then so I lost quite a lot of footage coming down to the holes. Got some photos there and I'll be back. So I'm just under three miles in. 
There's no way the battery on my watch is going to last. I should have charged it last night. But I've got my old trails on my phone. Does mean I'm gonna, not going to get my verified completed badge, but I'll definitely be coming back with Katie one day. Probably next week, to be honest. So I'm just going to crack on for as long as it'll last and get plenty of photos. But so far, very nice walk. Weather's turning a bit, it's getting windier, a bit cooler, a bit of rain, which I'm glad for because it is proper stuffy. Uh, my watch has given up the ghost, so I've got no more battery left. I guess I've got about nine miles left. Last mile and a half, a little bit boring, but we're back off road again, so. And uh, we're back in Valley, which is quite nice. Coming up on about five to six mile, I'm not sure, but yeah, five and a half mile, let's say. This middle section's been a bit, not boring, but not, not as impressive as first bit. When I get to six mile, I'm going to stop and have something to eat. I'm still in the valley and will be for probably another two and a half to three miles I think and then we end up at the top so trudging along legs are killing but that's from Friday uh, eight mile trail run so yeah just carrying on along this nondescript path to my right it's a hill called Iron Tor if you're wondering where I am on the map Starting to get a bit more scenic again. High sided valleys with rocks. Better than nothing. We just crossed the river for the final time. This is the top end of the walk where we turn around, started in back. This is where our climb comes in. Don't think it's a great deal, but my legs are killing. So, next place I can find, I'm gonna enjoy my high quality meal that I brought along with me. You wondering where I am in the country? the sizeable hill on right, just there, is Narradale, and uh, yeah we've got about six miles left, and the hills begin, hopefully not too much. We 
having to top one at bigger climbs. Fairly quick and steep. Whew. Valley behind me. So Dovedale Valley is kind of in that section there. So we've circled this hill here. And, uh, keep on this track and we'll get to a road. And I think there's a dip. And then another big climb. We're out of the cow fields into just grass. I'm starving so I'm going to try and find somewhere to eat. Estimate about five miles left. Coming into village of Alstonfield now. I mean, I'll find anywhere to sit down that's not got cows and sheep in it. But we're closing in, and last stretch is just one big steep uphill left. And that's when we get back down into the valley. sit down Ugh. time for my wonderful lunch right I've had something to eat feeling a bit better I've worked it out on my phone because my watch has obviously run out of batteries about four miles left, so that's not too bad. We're up to about mile nine. So we've got Alston Field to get through. Stanhope. And we're done, down in, back into the valley. We've still just got one very big climb left. So, let it begin. took a nasty turn and got to the wall here because there's some uh, cows on the other side with children to kick off probably oh big old wind wall terrifying get the size of him always looking passing through he knows come in here kick right off I don't know a big wall in way. The big massive cows coming up. That's my like muscle on it. Brown one there. This is proper muscle. Got horns as well. Alright. climb after a steep downhill. Some more cows. All right. right, we're dropping down into the Dovedale Valley. You 
could cut a lot of this walk out. It's only really any good if you wanted a distance. This bike, three or four miles, been not in there. But we're coming back into the scenic part and we've still got the massive uphill to do. Knock a, it's 13 to 14 mile, you could knock at least four mile off a minute. It just depends if it's actually a route to make it a circular rather than a out and back. But we'll see what this last three miles brings. I think it will be quite spectacular because we're going across to Toppet Ridge. We'll see. Back down into the valley. Should meet up back of the river. Feels never ending this downhill. So yeah, we're just coming up to the river now. We're gonna do a very short walk where we've been already today, and then turn up into the hills. And that's the last big climb of the day. I think it's sharp, steep, quick. Hopefully it won't last too long, and then we're back to car near enough two mile probably. We're getting there. Alright, we're on the path to Island Rock, which we passed earlier on today. We're going to be taking a right high up into the hills. It's warm, wet humid, everything's damp. I'm looking forward to getting back in the car because this last bit has so far been a bit grim. Climb. I don't know if you can hear it rain, but it is very, very heavy now. I don't know how long this path is, but I'm just going to chug along. Oh, see how I feel when I get to the top. Oh. God, this weekend stuck out of me. He's got his waterproof cover on. My phone is in my waterproof pocket. It is pissing it down. And this climb is never ending. Oh. I'm wet, everywhere's wet, I'm giving up. I'm going to two miles left. This path is overgrown. Just to show you how overgrown the path is. I can always flip my left to Wet now. Can't even get lens dry. This path is treacherous and so far not worth the climb. I think I'll go highway. There's a lot of limestone on it, which in this weather's slippery. It's overgrown. Drops are huge next to the path. Can you get an idea how I hope we are? So 
So yeah, I'd suggest if you get to the bottom of this hill and decide you're a bit tired, just follow stream back. So far this hasn't been worth it. cloud in the distance there, the pointy one. Definitely be walking up that one day. But not today, I'm absolutely knackered. But nice view at last. Back down into the valley where we walked this morning. And we're gonna follow at Ridge, drop down near Islam, which is a village, and back to the car. So the car is next to Thorpe Cloud, so looks about two miles, roughly. So we're closing in on end. Toughest part of walk's done. Yeah, overall, well worth it. Some boring segments, but they seem to link up to some pretty impressive ones. So highly recommended. done uh, yeah we're good somewhere between 13 and 16 mile I think middle bit bit dull but overall some really nice views um, ended up bumping into a family from Skelmersdale did last mile or so with them and to be honest it were welcome because the last hill were a bit terrifying it was steep slippy and hard to see path but overall a good walk and uh, yeah nice to Meet some new faces while they're out there who said they're going to subscribe to my channel, hopefully. So I know it's not something I'm bothered about, it's more of a diary, but yeah, we're good to see some people out. and uh, Yeah, look forward to the next one. Enjoyed it. <laughs>